welcome back inside of my screen. Welcome to yet another version of Trader Talk. Now, guys, you know, is the market has been very slow, extremely slow in terms of giving us a clear direction for at least the last month and a half. For over six weeks, we've had to sit on our hands. And like I keep saying, a lot of traders struggle to do this. This is actually the most difficult part of trading when traders cannot trade. And this is exactly where most of the money gets lost. You know, so we've literally had to sit on our hands, allow the market to do its thing. But fortunately for us, um, over last week, I was able to spot a buying opportunity on the euro, which I eventually hopped on at the daily candle close. And I'm going to be walking you guys through as to why I have decided to buy the euro right now. Um, and if there's any potential opportunities for you guys to jump in at the moment. And yeah, so obviously we're going to be breaking down some charts as usual. So I'm going to kick off with the euro and I'm going to speak about gold in a bit. So I'm going to kick off with the euro. Now, the euro, you know, we were expecting, like I said, we were expecting. And this, our expectation, our analysis I mean, we did everything we could do. However, the market just wasn't cooperating. So, you know, I'm not just going to come on here and tell you guys, you know, just jump out and be like, you know, everything is rosy, everything is fine. We did an analysis and the market just wasn't cooperating. So what I what I figured happened was the fact that, you know, the market just wasn't ready to head in the direction we wanted it to go to. Okay, so um, that's exactly why the market did not continue in the direction that we had anticipated for it to go so what happened was the market came into this region about here and then you know we just started to tank we we're expecting you know the market to rally out from here that didn't happen however we came down all the way down here dropped all the way down here so and i was just wondering as to why exactly that was happening hold on guys yeah, sorry about that guys my laptop was just going crazy like the fan just went <laughs> And when that happens, usually, um, and I'm recording, and then I play the video back, the video just seems to get a bit muffled. And imagine having to record a 15-minute video, and then at the end of the day, you know, your laptop froze in the middle of it, and you were just blabbing, okay? So I had to quickly pause the video there to ensure that all the apps on my laptop were shut down. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. So, you know, we were expecting the euro to fire from here. That didn't happen. We started to collapse all the way down here. Now, whenever, whenever it is you do your analysis and for some strange reason, the market does not cooperate with you, doesn't go in your direction. This is what I always advise you guys to do. Kindly close your laptop and go and do other things. Why do I always stress this? I always stress this because it will give the market time to fulfill technical levels that it wants to fulfill. It's possible that there are some technical levels that you can see that the market wants to fulfill. Now, when I did zoom out and then, for instance, I was wondering, why are we pulling all the way down here? What are we coming to? I was okay, we're coming to test here. What was actually happening was the market was actually pulling back to actually come to test this trend line about here this is exactly what the market wanted to do the market was coming to test this level about here okay and from what i can see this is the third touch of a trend line and the third touch of the trend line actually does the trick once the market forex mastery students you know this once we come into the third touch of a trend line once we bounce off of that third touch the market usually heads in the direction that it's supposed to be going so think about it guys we were struggling you know trying to find buying opportunities somewhere around here let me zoom in properly we were struggling to find buy opportunities somewhere around here whereas the market just wanted to come and test this trend line before it continues in its direction okay so sometimes the market just isn't ready and this is why i have learned over the years from experience and blown accounts and you know heartaches and heartbreaks from the market that listen i can i would never if the market is showing me sign if i try the first time try the second time and my trees keep getting stopped out for break even or i'm only able to profit a little bit you know the, the market is just trying to tell me something like yo daps i am not ready so what has happened is the market has fulfilled all righteousness and we've come back and started trading above this yellow region which we were trading in before 
um not only are we trading above we've come and we've retested it like we've come and we're now facing this way this is exactly the kind of opportunities i love to see whereby the market has gone to either do a stop loss run or has gone to fulfill all righteousness and we've eventually come back to where we were before now i feel a lot more confident you know say it's, i'll feel a lot more confident you know you know to actually stake my money on this trade because the market has gone mad it's done what it wants to do and now it is telling me it is ready you know it's, it's like that prodigal son right that goes to squander all his father's money and then when the child eventually comes back it is now ready the child is now ready to learn and listen and do exactly what you wanted to do so um this trade at the moment i'm risking the standard three percent of my account to make I think it should be about 10% return on investment on my trade. Don't forget, the first level targets are always going to be here. I don't care how much, how little I make between here to here. I will close out a portion of my trade, usually about 50%. So I think I have about 9.3 lots open on this trade. So I'll probably be closing about five lots once we get here bank that and i'm going to be moving these stop losses here to break even now i have some concerns now forex mastery students it's always good to journal your trades right now when i journal my trades in my journal i have written something about this trade in my journal i always like to write out my concerns so what are my concerns about this trade one of my concerns about this trade is this was the level that was the market was having issues with before now this is this level because you know we this was where we wanted the market to take off from it faked out and then we came back down we closed the back down below this level you know so this level is giving me you know some form of you know concern like i'm concerned about the level so i'm going to write it down and when i write out my concerns i always like to write out my contingency plan what what am i going to do if indeed the market gets to this level and for some strange reason starts to turn around i have to write it down what am i going to do in this situation there's nothing i can really do i'm going to have to take the l okay i'm going to have to take the l and what do i do when i take the l i do nothing i have to write down these things because if I don't write them down and then, first of all, if I don't identify my concerns and then write down my contingency plan when my concerns eventually happen, what will happen is I will most likely impulse trade. Now, not me, but most traders will. 95% of traders will impulse trade because I realize that after every losing trade, we have a series of three to four more trades whereby traders are trying to make their money back so write out my concerns and i tell myself do nothing it helps me to do nothing okay it helps me to do nothing and in the event that it does happen i'm prepared mentally okay i'm prepared so whenever it is you're getting to a trade always write out your concerns you don't have to have a journal like me a big book you can be your on your notes on your, if i use an iphone so you can be your notes whatever just write down your concerns and write down what exactly you're going to do in the event guys this is why i encourage you guys to grab the forex mastery program because this is exactly how i like to you know this is exactly how i'm teaching the students on the forex mastery program if you haven't gotten it i suggest you get it okay because there's a module on there where i'm speaking about market psychology okay write down your concerns this is very important so this is a real life trade that is playing out at the moment i am in this trade right now so if this trade goes against me i have lost money no doubt so we're doing this you know I wish I, I released this video yesterday when I actually executed the trade, um, but yesterday I was just so busy. So today I'm actually shooting this video pretty early so that you guys can have a chance to jump on this as well. So always write out your concerns in the, so that in the event that something happens, you're prepared. Okay, you're prepared to, excuse me guys. <laughs> you're prepared to um you know you're prepared in, in the worst case scenario but i don't think anything wrong is going to happen to this because the euro has acted mad for the longest time and i think it actually wants to what give up you know actually wants to give up some pips now so this is the euro usd guys i am long all the way up until 1.2500 uh, 1.2500 um first level targets are going to be here so i'm going to be watching this i will be watching this 
on the daily candle close i will only be watching this market every two days i won't keep coming to my computer to be like oh my god what's happening i will relax my stop losses are actually somewhere down here okay so guys this is the euro usd in a nutshell let's quickly jump over to gold to actually see what i'm going with gold now with gold this is the setup at the moment okay what is happening is on the monthly time frame there's a massive double top that is playing out on gold okay and this massive double top that is playing out on gold um as you can see we were expecting this market to actually roll over to the downside so what is actually having happening on gold is that there's major conflict okay it's a major conflict on gold because the monthly time frame is telling us double top start selling but the weekly time frame is telling us that we're making higher highs and higher lows so who do we listen to we don't exactly know who to listen to okay we don't exactly know who to listen to at this point because both of them are very high time frames okay so this is exactly what's happening on gold at the moment i wouldn't be surprised if gold actually comes to fly out to the upside okay because we have some very nice confluence around this region okay a b c fly out to the upside however however we actually do have a descending trend line in play like so and we also have fibonacci from the top to the bottom okay we can easily collapse all the way to the downside so for gold is 50 50 okay and for me 50 50 is not good enough for me 50 50 is not good enough so i'm going to be standing on my hands for gold at the moment i'm already in the euro the euro is giving me more of a clear direction than gold at the moment for me if i see a bullish engulfing candle on gold close above this region maybe a pullback and you know how we did for the euro whereby we broke in came back from the base i want to start going then i can start looking for buy opportunities but for now gold can easily come on here and then just reject all the way back down actually if we reject all the way back down i'll be looking for selling opportunities because that will mean that this was a fake out so i'm gonna give another week and then obviously i'm gonna hop back on here and then see what's happening as you can see i only like to trade the very best trades okay straightforward with the clearest opportunities i'm not interested in playing any games my i trade a lot of money millions so my three percent loss is a lot of money so i don't play around with the kind of trades that i get into okay so gold at the moment is 50 50 not heading in you know i can't see any clear direction we'll give it a week i'll be here back in one week to give you an update on gold and then as for gbp usd gbp usd seems like we want to form a double top um, this was actually uh, GBP US is looking like it wants to form a double top at a major level. I'm just going to delete this like so. So we've pretty much formed this double top at this major level. So at the moment, GBP USD needs to obviously decide what exactly it wants to do. Does it want to break here? Does it want to pull back here? But if I were you, I wouldn't be looking in. Actually, I'll be looking to take my profits on GBP USD at this time. I actually saw a buy opportunity, but I was a bit too scared. <laughs> I just, because the truth is, I saw a buy opportunity somewhere around here, but we're very close to major resistance. There isn't that much room. I just wasn't feeling it, so I left it alone. Okay, that's just the honest truth about GBP USD. And AUD USD, AUD USD is having, I can see a massive play going on on AUD USD at the moment. If my charts are freezing, I'm sorry, I think my laptop is going bank, it's going bizarre. I have to speed up this session so that we don't have, you know, my laptop doesn't actually freeze this recording. <laughs> anyway, so for AUD USD on a monthly time frame, from what I can see is we've actually drifted all the way into this region. This is a major trend line on the monthly time frame. I'm, I'm, I have a slight feeling that we're going to come in here and then we're going to roll over back to the downside. This is for my, my thoughts on AUD USD at the moment. But for now, AUD USD is just moving sideways. It's just moving sideways at the moment. We just have this head and shoulder that has refused to reverse and has refused to go higher. I feel personally that AUD USD might want to come and test this level somewhere around here. And then once we get here, we can now decide if indeed we want to head higher or if indeed we want to collapse. So for AUD USD at the moment, sideways movement, um, feel free to trade it. Um, but I'm going to be standing on my hands for now. So guys, at the moment, only the Euro USD buy for gold. We're going to have to give it another week to see 
what's happening euro usd buy you had it here first next level target is going to be um right about here first level target 1.23297 and then my overall target is going to be inside here which is 1.2500 okay so that's pretty much it guys um look forward to catching you in my subsequent videos i just wanted to come on here quickly and tell you guys about the trade i had placed um since i've been off uh, i have been off trader talk for a while this is because we haven't really seen been seen that many opportunities to trade so far and you know i will not force my hand i will not trade what i'm not supposed to trade okay guys so uh thank you so much for staying to the very end if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery course we'll teach you how to analyze like myself like a pro the link is going to be down below take it easy adios amigos and what peace out